I'm gonna need this. Okay, today I'm gonna show you the top five toys that I would recommend, or even yes, make yourself that can be beneficial with some disabilities that Emmett actually has. These are his specifically, so they might not be something that works for your kid, but if you have a kid with similar things going on, like Emmett has cerebral palsy and cortical visual impairment, similar things to that, these might be beneficial to your kid too. I do have affiliate links in the description for all of these items. The first toy that Emmett absolutely loves that you can get right off Amazon that is not super expensive are these little, it's like little bells with a handle on them and they have this one and I'll throw up a picture right now of the other ones they are like one handle and it's just like a rod and it has little bells attached to it going all the way up. Excellent toy because it makes a whole lot of noise. It's bright colored. For whatever reason Emmett likes hard stuff like to chew on. He doesn't like the soft you know typical teether kind of toys. He likes the harder stuff. So this is a pretty sure this is a metal handle with a plastic ring. Obviously these are metal bells. Absolutely loves it. Also, the shiny bells reflect a lot of light, so when I have this out, when we go outside and sunlight hits this, it kind of reflects like kind of harshly, and that seems to be what actually stimulates his eyes and helps us practice with his CVI, cortical visual impairment. Also, the handle on this thing, his right hand in a fist most of the time, well, not most of the time, but a lot of the time it's in a fist, and when it's in there, it's really hard to undo that. This handle is perfect. It's not too big and it's not too small. It's like the perfect size to where I can actually grab, grip his hand around it. His right hand will actually stay onto it. Some stuff, it's easy for him to let go. Just some stuff, it's easier for him to let go. But this is like, this is like the perfect size. That's toy number one. The second toy that has a lot of benefits, and again, you can get it right off Amazon. And they, oh, you don't have to get it off Amazon. You can get it anywhere, really. I think any store has it. You can go to Walmart, Target. That would be poppers. And it obviously doesn't have to be a dinosaur-shaped popper. It can be any of these, but any of them that have these little, these little push, little push pop button things, excellent. For Emmett, I think this is great because, like I said, he likes hard stuff. This is very soft, and it kind of teaches him like he can still handle these types of things and he does actually like this one specifically there's some stuff he won't even touch he, he feels it and he's like nope I'm done so this one he actually likes he keeps a hold of and he likes to press the little the little poppers another thing that's good about these things look at how bright this is not that it works for Emmett specifically but your kid it might be beneficial to get super bright things like this and I'm sure there's other ones that are solid colors this is just a rainbow one but obviously bright colors stimulate the eyes and if your kid has cortical visual impairment. If your kid has CVI, something like this might be handy for a number of reasons, not just the vision. Okay, so this one I'm sure you already have in your house. A lot of people do, and this one you can just make at home. For whatever reason, Emmett has kind of always, I think what happened was we left an empty water bottle like next to him one day when we were sitting on the floor playing whatever, and he grabbed it and was fascinated by the, when he squeezes it, you know, very noisy, very loud, very outrageous to be honest. So these are great because they do actually hold up pretty well you can get cheap ones that kind of fall apart well not fall apart but you can get cheap ones that rip easy or whatever but for the most part they hold together pretty well i threw some beads in the bottom to add to the noise because it obviously stimulates his hearing and he loves making a lot of noise as you have seen in previous videos loves being obnoxious so something like this great for him i do recommend though if you put the beads inside glue the cap on doesn't have to be anything special it could be hot glue it could be just like any kind of glue just glue the cap on because you never know in those glass beads i would hate for something to happen so glue the cap on another good thing about the bottle is it stimulates his muscles in a different way it's not like a normal toy where he can easily grab it and just move it around it's very like a, a, a normal sized water bottle to a kid's hands it's big like he has to stretch his hand out a lot further and grab it a lot harder to actually grip it and keep it in his hands so it stimulates his muscles in a different way which is obviously really good as i said before at the beginning when i was talking about the bells a big stimulator for emmett's vision is anything super shiny specifically chrome it doesn't have to be a color it's like just like chrome has been shown to stimulate his vision so another thing that you probably already have in your house baking sheets <laughs> super shiny reflect off of take light bounce it off like crazy and they make a lot of noise perfect right another thing you can do with this i don't know i haven't done it yet because like, i don't some people recommended it but i'm not so sure if i'm like want to try it i could throw some of the beads into this and then seal it up at the top with like foil just so the entire thing stays nice and shiny but the foil part throws me off because like foil rips kind of easily so i don't know if i would recommend that but baking sheets large or small great thing for emmett because it stimulates his eyes he obviously likes to grab onto it and make a lot of noise with it it's bendy 
And if I wanna to add to the vision stimulation, I can always flash a flashlight into it too. That's per his vision therapist. So another thing that I can do with that, or you could try with your kiddo to try to stimulate their vision even more. The whole thing is to get those brain connections and the eye connections to fire. So any way I can do that, I'm gonna go for it. So that's what <laughs> that's what I let him do. Okay, the last toy I recommend for pretty much any kid, and Emmett specifically loves it, and I don't know where it is, I lost it. I, if I have any videos of him playing with it, I'll overlay it, but I don't think I actually do. It would be, it's kind of a cause and effect toy, but it has some haptic feedback in it too. So you press the button and it actually vibrates because the thing at the top is spinning. I'll throw a picture from Amazon up of what I'm exactly talking about, but this toy, he freaking loves. When you press the button, for whatever reason, when I press the button, he likes to put it up to his teeth. It's kind of funny, but like, he loves that toy. One of his favorite toys, for sure. And it's a good distraction, too, when he's like having a moment where he might spit up and he need, like, we needed to like, get his brain off of the spit up and just totally distract him. <laughs> Literally press that button, put it up against his teeth, and most of the time, if he's not too far gone, it distracts him enough and he forgets about what was going on, so. Love that toy, highly recommend it. Like I said, all the links are in the description. Also, that toy, they light up. You press the button and it lights up. And it does make a slight sound, but it's kind of like a hum sound, just along with the spinning of the thing inside of it. But very brightly lit toy too, so that's good. Not that I don't, I don't really think that that specifically stimulates his eyes, but it could with your kid. You never know. These are Emmett's top five toys. They could be beneficial for your kid if your kid has similar things going on, like Emmett, like cortical visual impairment, CVI, or cerebral palsy or a number of other things but in general these are the toys that i think he gets the most kick out of and he likes playing with on a regular basis that actually do have some benefit for him if you have specific toys that you use that i did not mention put them in the comments i'll definitely be sure to check them out because that would be a great i mean you never have too many things that stimulate these kiddos that need more stimulation please like the video if you did enjoy it subscribe if you haven't already for more if you want to see more of this type of content if you're interested in seeing how i raise this boy i actually vlog quite a lot last weekend every video i made was a vlog if you're interested in that hit that subscribe button. Thanks for tuning in and we will see you in the next one.